Okay guys, I'm here again to give you some more information about how you can get negative information off your credit report and get debt deleted. There's other unorthodox strategies, not just the FCRA. The other strategy is now in tort. For instance, you're in a contract with a bank because you borrowed money from the bank, um, uh, maybe through the car dealership, uh, or directly from the car dealership. There's some car dealership that finance vehicles um, directly. Um, they have their own internal um, financing. And that car dealership sells you a car that is defective. It's defective based on how it was made, manufactured, or it was defective based on its um, design, or it was defective based on they did not provide warning for certain things. Now you get into an accident. And because of that, you now default on this loan. And now there's negative information on your credit report. You can actually sue for strict product liability, uh, meaning strict product liability is a tort that um, tells you, that gives you the right to sue because uh, certain products or all products in the stream of commerce <coughs> must be safe. There's an absolute duty to make it safe. Um, so if it's not, even if it's through, um, it's not through negligence, you still can sue. But you can also use that as leverage to get negative information pertaining to that same debt off your credit report if something happened, you were harmed from the product being defective, especially if the financier, um, the, fin um, the, the creditor, the bank, uh, or the financial institution is from the car dealership who's financing the loan or a car dealership associated financial um, institution um, that provided the loan. You can use that as a leverage to get negative information off your credit report, to get the debt deleted um, or lowered um, and so forth. So those are little leverages that you have to get negative information off your credit report. So again, you have to talk to experts who understand how to apply the law in ways that are beneficial to you. So those little corner store credit repair shops that you go to, um, they would know about this, um, basically. They don't understand this part. They just know a few things off of the, the fact that a fear credit reporting um, act, FCRA, and so forth. And that's it. They don't know the other main substantive law that can help you. So that's one strategy. There's actually other um, strategies that you can use. Deformation where the creditor or the debt collector um, publish in defamatory information about you. Some, a lot of times they do because they're using that as intimidation, harassment, in hope that will, it will make you pay up the debt. But you now can sue for um, defamation, um, basically. You can also um, sue <coughs> for other invasion of privacy. You can sue for um, false light. You can sue for public disclosure of private facts. Let's say there's certain information they have about you and you um, and they're not supposed to disclose it maybe to the credit on the credit report or to third parties, but they still do again in to intimidate you to pay the debt. You can sue or you can use that as leverage to get negative information off your credit report. Public disclosure of private facts. The other one is intrusion into seclusion. I gave the defamatory um, uh, example. That also can be used as intrusion into seclusion. That's where the manner in which this debt collector or this bank um, or this um, you know, debt collector or the credit bureau choose um, uh, to to enter into your life. It's in a, is it in an unreasonable way, um, a a horrific or outrageous um, way, 
um, that caused you harm. It's it was just the intrusion was just objectionable and it was unreasonable. <coughs> but they still did. Debt collectors like to use that strategy um, to enter to force you to pay debt. Um, and then the other one that I've talked about before is intentional infliction of emotional distress. The action is so outrageous. It's so abusive. It's so wrong. It's so illegal. Um, it's so just outright egregious conduct. And again, debt collectors and banks like to do that in hopes to get your money, get you to pay a debt that they think you owe or they believe that you owe. So these are strategies. When you get them violating your rights, you can use those violations as strategies, as leverage to get yourself out of debt. So again, subscribe to my channel so you can learn more information about ways to actually get out of debt and get your credit report looking perfect so you can actually get approved for things that you really need and want to better your life and the life of your family. Your credit report is a vital tool to enhance your living situation and your financial situation. Please subscribe. Thank you.